two. Uh, you have you you have done that yourself. I think that was what Dog was saying. Yeah, I mean, you know, Disney. Um, I check on like stocks and uh, stuff because I have a couple of uh, I have a couple of stocks. Like I have stock in like Disney, and I have stock in like Nike. And so, like you know, I'm I'm curious to see how like you know my own stocks are doing. But I was uh, I was just like curious to see how Disney was doing. And Disney like is falling daily. Like no one wants to buy Disney, or no one wants to like have stock or shares in 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 Disney. Disney is like is like. I wouldn't say it's like you know free falling, but it's like getting kind of close. It's like you know, imagine a flat line, but like it's slowly starting to go down. Then it's like flat lines again, then it's slowly starting to go down. Like I say, by like twenty thirty, Disney's gonna be like in the red if they don't change anything. Like they have the Simpsons, they have Marvel, they have Star Wars, but they don't. They're not making anything good with any of these like you know, IPs. So that's the whole problem is that you can have the IPs, but if you can't bring in fans, then, you know. But what did Kenobi say in chat? Oh, nice, man. <laughs> nice, fam. Um, I don't see their stock going up anytime soon. Yeah, no, man. Look, I don't think that their stock's going to go up Unless they make, like, a banner movie or something. Like, even when, like, the sequels came out, their stock was still going down. Even though the sequels made made money. But, like, I don't know if the sequels made... I don't know if they made back their money. Like, does anybody know? Like, um... It'll be 2030... It'll be before 2030, the way that it's going... Yeah, but you have to think about this though. They um they like the 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 people in charge have so much money that they're just gonna keep pumping money into it so that like things will be like that they won't be totally in like you know the red. They own ESPN, they fucking do it's right, right, right. They they do own that. Is why the show suck. Each movie made one billion dollars, bro. How did the sequels make that much money? <laughs> like, if no one liked it, why did they make so much money? <laughs> Except on SEC Network, but each movie lost more than the previous one. Uh, uh, okay. Disney gonna lose a shit ton of money with. Uh, Snow Woke. Listen, I never even saw that movie. Like, um, but from, like, I was peeping what, like, people were saying about, like, Loki. They're saying that Loki's actually not that bad. Like, like, I saw Damio was, uh, you know, talking about it in his, like, you know, server. Um, because it was the Skywalker saga. Yeah, but Pilgrim, it's like, I'm surprised that people went to go see the rise of Skywalker after what happened at the end of the Last Jedi. Like I'm like genuinely like th like like that like and then when we you know got that trailer and you heard like Palpatine laughing, like did that make any of you hype? I know I wasn't, but um, did we hear Palpatine laughing? Remember in the first like teaser trailer for the you know rise of Skywalker? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. So like I was just talking with our uh chat about how like I have a hot take that you know Disney's gonna be broke by like you know 2030. And then you know we were and then we were talking about the sequels and and like and like about how they each made like you know one billion dollars, which is actually wild. I don't know how they made that much money, but you see the private chat. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You should Got already you. have. You should already have the email. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you sent it before, right? Yeah, yeah. 
Got you. But so Roland, like, I think have you been, he spells his name that way. I don't think he spells it with a K. Uh, have you been um Have you been keeping up with the like you know Disney uh stock as of like recently or? Um, by the sell mine. If that's the answer. You have some. Yeah, I have Disney stock. Oh shit! I have a couple shares, but it's dwindling so much. I'm about to just sell that shit. Damn. Give myself some extra pocket money. Throw that yeah. in my savings. Yeah, they're they're dropping, man. Like daily. And I heard another thing today that I thought was like perfect. Marvel has been losing money like no one's business as well. And yep. just like Star Wars, those are their biggest cash cows. Yeah. Because there, no one cares, man. Like Everybody's all hype about Loki season two. Well, like Loki season two apparently isn't even that good in episode one. So you're gonna get an, another Ahsoka. Like on top of that, the parks are in decline too, which is where most of their profits come. Yes, and here's and here's something actually... really interesting about that. Yeah, which I just learned today, thanks to Jay. So shout out to Drunk Three PO. But I just learned this today. So we all know about Disney getting political. And then getting in hot water with the Florida government. Yeah. About the don't say gay bill. Even though it wasn't don't say gay. It was don't teach elementary schoolers about sex. Whether it's left, right, LGBTQ, fucking A, B, C, D, E, F, G, or straight people. Like, don't. Don't fucking teach little kids about that. Like that's the rule. Like that that was the bill. You can't teach little kids about that. Well, Disney had to get involved. And when Disney got involved, they said, "Okay, if you want to get involved in politics, we'll get involved with you." So Disney was much like DC or the Vatican, where they had their land with their own police force, their own tax rate, their like everything. Like like so they were their own little almost nation. No fucking way, Damio. Is that real? Yes, they did. <laughs> and they, they did just open a Moana ride and zero people showed up. That's funny. But so Disney got involved and DeSantis, to his credit, said, you're an entertainment company. Don't get involved in politics. All right, we're going to take away your special rights. So they took away their special rights. Guess who just got special rights for their land? Universal. Now they're building a train station that goes directly in front of Universal. It's actually kind of badass. It is. They were going to do that for Disney, but they didn't. The state was going to fucking build a train station going straight to Disney, but they did not because Disney fucked up. And now Disney doesn't have special rights. Now they have to pay the same taxes as everybody else. And they're a major corporation, so they have to pay high taxes. On top of that, they're losing investors, me being one. I'm going to sell my Disney stock. My family sold their Disney stocks. And like, not only just that, but no one's showing up to your parks. You have alienated families by some of these things. Like I have no problem. If you're like your disposition, if you're trans or gay or straight or whatever the fuck, but a little girl doesn't want to go to see Cinderella and have Cinderella with a fucking beard and be a dude. Like, biologically a man that's identifying as a woman, like, dressed as Cinderella, like, no little girl wants to go fucking see that. I'm not going to take my little kid to go see that anyway. And that you have that in your park. So you're alienating families and you're actually waking up families to what you've been doing. New, and now, now, for the now, Disney year, parks are, now Disney parks are banning vloggers from live streaming? Or yes, they are. Huh. Yes, they are. And if you go to Universal, guess what? This is the first year ever in history that Universal has made more money than Disney at their parks. And has had more people attending. Well, the fact that they're doing this, they're literally, like Jay said, opening the door for themselves. Well, they're you know what I'm the themselves. most bitter about too, bro, is dude, and the they they built the Star Cruiser. Hold on, bro. They built the fucking Jedi or not Jedi 
Star Wars Star Cruiser, right? The Galactic Star Cruiser. And it's all sequel trilogy. When you you are so inept and so stupid that you don't realize that everybody fucking hates the sequel trilogy. Like, yes, there is a small, loud minority that loves it. And that's okay. I'm so glad they do. But you have literally created something that only a small niche audience would even care to go to. And they have to spend $5,000 fucking dollars for two nights. Like, you created the Titanic and the iceberg at the same time. Remember when, you know, X-Wing came up with that whole Star Wars park thing? Remember that? All of the, like, ideas that, like, you know, everybody... I don't know if X came up with that, but the one okay. that you talked about where it's all the arrows? No, 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 no. So, the like, one where it's Jedi and Sith. No, so, like, remember it was during one of their, like, late nights. They were talking about how there was this, like, you know hotel that costs like you know a, you know shit ton of money and then yeah. they were talking about you know galaxy's edge and then like they were saying what would you want in your like you know ideal park and then that was when yeah, i said X and i talked about this in in back in the vc yeah, yeah. that in was the, when i said voice, like in our voice chat yeah we talked th- about that one night that was like you know that was when I said like you know an obstacle course on like you know Mustafar and and you know shit like that like I'm saying yeah, I mean, he was he was digging that idea. Didn't he pull yeah. it up on screen? He was like, "That'd be fucking sick." And they're like, "Exactly." Like, you could laser tag on so Hoth, bro. Ideas. Laser tag on Hoth, bro. Like, like man, they had they had money to burn and they rock just didn't climbing do it. on um. You could do rock climbing on Utapau. Yeah, yeah. Like, you can climb the route that Obi Wan went, dude. You could do a freaking roller coaster. Where you're in the car, the cloud car that Obi Wan and Anakin are in at Attack of the Clones. You could do a roller coaster like that. You could do one of those VR roller coasters like Universal has for the Harry Potter ride. You could do one of those VR roller coasters, but you're in the Battle of Coruscant. <gasps> yeah. In Obi Wan or Anakin's like starship. Like that would be so fucking sick. But they're well, so. You could- they're so brain dead to what people want, and they're so inept to what the Star Wars fans actually care how about. How did they? they how did they fuck, fuck up? Really. How did they fuck fuck up on not making the most Eisley Cantina a fucking like restaurant, bro? That's retarded. No, yeah. that shouldn't even be the restaurant. So the restaurant should be Dexter's Diner. Yeah, from Attack of the Clones, and then yeah. and then you have a bar. That's for the adults only. Jawas twenty one and, yeah. and up. You have the Moss Eisley Cantina. Yeah, and you can only go into the cantina if you're twenty one and up. And I guarantee you, people would go. Right. Like, it, it's that's just a way to do it. But they, but they, they made like it's what? a street, bro. It's a street it's like that a street, looks like yeah. Afghanistan. I'm not even lying. If you look at a picture of the, the street of Wait Galaxy's Edge, it's literally just a road. Oh, really? It stores on the Galaxy side edge. that looks like Afghanistan. It looks like something out of the Middle East. It doesn't even look like anything Star Wars like. And guess what characters you get to meet there? Oh, congratulations, guys. Three years later, after the show came out, we finally added Boba Fett. Fam, this looks disgusting. That doesn't look like it looks like fucking Iraq or Afghanistan. Like, no offense to anybody listening, but I doubt you are. Why the fuck does Chewie look like that? What? What the fuck? What is this? I'm telling you, bro. All, the looks- only thing that's Star Wars there is the Falcon. The rest of that shit is like the aliens that are animatronics and the droids. Whoa. This looks disgusting. What the and, fuck? And not only that, it's based on a planet that Disney created just for this park. Batu. That's not even what in the, the fuck is Batu. What is the significance of Batu? You might as well have made it Mustafar. Because it's already fucking hot in Florida. Like, that would have been cooler, actually. It would have been cooler, but it would have been stupid to make the whole park lava themed. 
like to make the whole park just look like this is retarded. Sorry, but like it's true. I would have rather Jabba's had Palace Jabba's Palace. Palace. Okay, make Jabba's Palace the bar. Yeah. You have Jabba in the back. You have all these people chilling. Like, make that the bar for adults. And then you can have Mos Eisley's Cantina where they sell both. And then you can have mm. then you can have Dexter Diner, which is just a simple little diner for anybody to go into and get some yeah. food. They don't serve alcoholic drinks there. Like I can totally see that. It would work. And you could still have a whole sequel section. Yeah. But, like But you should have something for everybody there. Every Star Wars fan exactly. should be able to go there and have fun. But they actually said straight up when they were making it, oh, we want to make it for the new fans. Well, guess what? You're not going to have new fans because the old fans are showing their fucking kids the original shit. What? Wait, 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 wait. What new fans? <laughs> there are no new fans. <laughs> wait, is there little girls? Like, there's little girls and little boys who, like, love Ray and Poe and Finn and Kylo. But they don't, like, when they're old enough to understand... A uh, Hoth Park in Minneapolis would go hard. That would be sick. Yeah. When they're old enough to understand, like, the prequels and, and the OT and then the sequels and clone, like, they're not, if they watch the prequels and the OT and then the, like, the Clone Wars, they're not going to give a shit about the sequels. Exactly. Because there's so much more. Kids want to see General Grievous. Universal has freaking Megatron and Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. And, and Spider-Man, Spider bro. And Spider-Man and, Spider and the Hulk. Yeah, but I'm telling you, like, you if, if they can make a Transformer that's that tall, mm -hmm. that is movable and walks around, you can and make a fucking Grievous. Yeah. You can make a General Grievous at Disney. I don't want to hear that shit. Uh, I sent you something on Discord. Speak on my last comment. I'd like to know what you and Rolo think. I didn't read that article, but it's interesting. Okay, let me... Okay. You want me to pull me... it up? Oh, no. He yeah. Said, oh, he sent it to you. Did you send it? D yeah, Dami, no, he sent it to you because he added you. So, oh, okay. check your Discord. Okay, got you. Um, Damio, did you send it as, like, a, you know, direct message? Is that what you did? Probably. Because if so... All right, I gotta, I gotta. Dude, download. all I gotta say is Camino slash Kashyyyk Water Park. Dude, that'd be sick. And Naboo is like the chill area. And then you have be like you know all the, the lazy shops, river, all the shops. Yeah, exactly. And then all the shops are Coruscant. Like it, it's fucking easy. It's really not that hard. Dude, you could do a Mustafar roller coaster. We are going over the lava, like when Anakin and Obi-Wan are like standing on the floating platforms as they're like, like Hold on. looking off. I, uh, I got it, Damio. You'll you, 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 you need to send it to Roland. Warner Bros. expected to be sold to a new owner, a possi possibly Universal. What? Well, this is comicbook.com, so we have to be a little bit careful with that. True. Uh, take down Daniel's comment real quick so, we yeah. can see the, so people can see the article. Got it. Okay. And there's a fucking ad. Of course there is. I don't care. Um, There are rumblings that Warner Bros. pictures could potentially... <laughs> Sorry, Attack on Titan. Could uh potent I don't give a shit about Hagen Dodds. Fuck off. Um could potentially be sold with Universal Pictures, the leading candidate, to make that purchase. One of those <laughs> pictures is currently a part of a Warner Brothers Discovery, which has uh Discovery Sorry. and uh Max streaming. I'm Sorry, control. Yeah. Somebody just clipped that where he just goes, I don't give a fuck about Hagen Doss. Fuck <laughs> off. Like, please, somebody clip that. Yo. <laughs> and, no, and no one can say that I am anti German because I'm literally like, you know, a uh, quarter German. So well, you're yeah. with a German guy right now. So yeah. Um, DC Talking Studios. DC Studios is also a part of Warner Bros. And it's the focus of 
a new feature that delves into some behind the scenes drama regarding Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Inside the Variety article, speaking is, of which, look at the ad right there. Aquaman and Lost Kingdom. It. <laughs> that's the official trailer that looks so shitty um inside the uh, variety article is uh is a is a re- sorry is a, a reference to those on uh the warner brothers lot within the, who then the studio will be sold within the next two years with universal the most likely candidate that's actually interesting okay the bottom line is they need to get dc to work whether uh david zaslav owns it whether Brian Roberts owns it, whether somebody else owns it, said Lightshed's Richard Greenfield, a Wall Street analyst and a venture uh, capitalist. The article also d- discusses how there is confusion regarding who's really calling the shots. For example, Kevin Feige is uh, the mastermind behind Marvel Studios. Is he? And it's a uh, creative output, whether that's a feature film in theaters or a series on Disney+. Plus. Me- meanwhile, James Gunn and Peter Safran are on the are the co-CEOs of uh, DC Studios, but Max also has a hand in creative as, as uh, well. However, a Max source did state that the uh, collaboration between Gunn, Saffron, and Max executives, Sarah Aubrey and uh, Casey Bloy, has been seamless so far. So from what I am gathering here, it seems that it seems that Warner Brothers is like on its last leg. And it kind of seems that it it kind of seems that Universal might actually capitalize on it, which actually seems kind of interesting. I don't blame them. Universal is kind of like not necessarily at the top, but they're doing better than everybody else right now. Yeah, and I mean, imagine if you could have Batman at your park alone with like you know Transformers and like you know Harry uh, Potter and shit, like like that w- like. That's that would draw pills, man. that would draw so many dude. I would actually like consider going there That's if they had like pills. if they had like you know a Batman part of the uh park. I mean, like I've always wanted to go to Universal because I love like hair I love like Harry Potter. Oh dude, you'll Jurassic Park and you'll stuff. You'll lose your mind there. Yeah, yeah, the Jurassic Park, like I think one of their biggest mistakes was revamping the Jurassic Park boat ride, which was like basically a log flume, but like yeah. revamping that into Jurassic World because the Jurassic Park one was so fucking good. And here's the thing. Yes. Yes. Middle Earth. I was going to say that. Middle Earth would go hard. Dude, a Lord of the Rings theme park? Let's fucking go. Like, that would Imagine be so awesome. You could literally just do a rock climbing thing where you're climbing on like Mount Lake Doom or something. No, That'd you could sick. do it climbing up the steps. The steps yeah. that Frodo and, and Gollum and Sam have to climb up. Or you could do you could do the Bridge of Casa Doom somehow. You could do Moria somehow. You could because do, it's universal. You could it do the would battle be done of right. the fields. You could have it a would ride be done right. going in between the legs of the Oliphants as they're coming through. Like, there's so much shit you could do. I know. With Lord of the Rings. And you could just have a whole section that's Lorien with like the beautiful giant trees or Rivendell or something, man. Like you could do so much with the Lord of the Rings theme park. It would be remarkable. And WB has all the rights to Lord of the Rings. Like, they have the rights to The Hobbit, too. So you could do a ton of shit, man. You could have Aragorn walking around. You could have the Fellowship walking around. You could make the Shire and make that hotels. Ian McKellen's alive still. He'd probably be willing to dress as, like, you know, Gandalf and shit. No, he wouldn't go to the park, but I'm sure he'd go there for signings and stuff. Yeah. But, like, you could literally have... Multiple hotels. Fuck off, time, yo. You you could have like Minas Tirith. You could have um, Kenobi. Shire. He, peace out, man. Thank you for showing up. Thank you, sir. See you later, Kenobi. I love you, brother. Nah, but dude, Universal. You try like, to fucking delete his message right after you left. <laughs> you asked. No, but like, dude, a uh, a uh, Middle Earth park. 
would go like disgusting. Like, like that would be so fun. Like, I would never want to. I would never want to go home. Dude, having- imagine, imagine if you could get a certain level, right? You could pay extra, and they'd give you a ring. The Prancing Pony Inn. Yes, the Prancing Pony Inn. Yeah. I have that sign on my bedroom door. Yeah, actually, actually, when I was in Oregon, there was a guy who made all these woods wood sculptures and stuff, and he had a Prancing Pony sign. I bought that shit, put it in my suitcase, brought it back with me because I was like, I've never seen this. It is the only one he ever made, and it was literally just the the full on sign that's hanging there of the Prancing Pony. And you just thought of the genius thing, though, bro. The Shire as the like, you know, as the hotels, hotel. bro. That would be crazy. Yeah. That would be awesome. And then, and then, not only that, you could do an extra tier. Right, you could pay extra, and you'd get the ring. Not that you're the only person in the park with the ring, but you could get the ring, and there will be Nazgul that go around the ring race mm-hmm. that are walking around the town, or orcs that are walking around certain places, and they maybe uh, you find a way that to make the ring where it has a sensor in it. Mm-hmm. That the bad guys can actually get like a beeper in their earpiece when they when they see you. That'd be a spin get, here. When they're close this... to you, hold on, hold on. Before Sorry. we get into that, when they're close to you, their earpiece starts to ring, or they have something that vibrates on their belt, and that way they know I'm close to the ring. So you actually have Nazgul and orcs hunting you down for the ring. That'd be so fucking cool. That would be awesome. So, like, it doesn't connect until you get close enough to somebody like Bluetooth. But, like, that would they could do that. I know they could find a way to do that. And that would be so sick. Imagine paying the extra, like, however many bucks to have this ring. And you could bring the ring. You could keep the ring so you could bring it back when you come back the next time. And, like, you're you're hunted while you're there. It's like the it's like the bad guys are actually looking for you. Yeah, like, but I do like what Damio said there though. They could have the Shire as a uh, grass park for the uh, kids to, and also have like you know. Yeah, they could there. have the Green Dragon there. Yeah, you are going into left field now, Rolo. <laughs> yeah, no, but I mean, would that be dude? That'd be cool. Like, Not sh- all right, well. I'm I'm just talking about something. Something that's Rolo wants, noticeable. That Rolo would, wants to be in the parks industry now. I mean... Dude, honestly, I could be because I'm coming up with better ideas than the people that are. I volunteered to play Tom... Tom Bombadil, uh, yes. Bombadil. Oh, look who... Look who's here. The lawyer, man. Caleb, okay, are you uh, coming on the stream or... What do you mean, gay issue you've ever heard? If you're trying to make it interactive for kids, yeah, like a way to do it. Like you have to do something with the ring. Yeah, like why why would you have a like Lord of the Rings park and then not have like the ring? Right. Important. Like, and you don't have to get the ring just to go there, but like if you pay extra, you could they could do something cool with it. That's just a random idea I have at the top of my head. Yeah. But, but like, I like that idea though. You have to come like, up with something that's going to be more interactive for kids, which therefore will get more kids into Lord of the Rings, which then will get kids to watch the movies, which then will get kids to read the books, and then they'll be more cultured because Lord of the Rings is the shit. Facts. And they would also have to have a section for like you know the Hobbit films too, and like. Well, it doesn't even have to be a section. It could just be like. You go to the mines or or you go to Erebor. You know, you can have the Lonely Mountain. And, and, or and maybe you can you like... Can, in there maybe, you can get certain things that are like super special or whatever. Have a ride could, in there. And when you leave the ride, you all get an Arkenstone, which is like in a plastic you could, the Arkenstone, you know? like Maybe you could have like, you know, a VR thing where you're like fighting smog or something. It'd be cool. 
Smog is something that is over LA. Smaug is the name of the dragon. Yeah, sorry, Smaug. sorry, Smaug. But um, God. Yeah, I have seen the smog over there, bro. It's like you're driving through California, and then as soon as you hit a certain county, it just the whole sky's orange. Yeah, it's wild. Are you at work, Caleb? Is that why you're? Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I got to sit here and do training for a couple days. And then... Oh, you're working very good. I'm waiting to do uh, the <laughs> uh, the tests that you have to do to every year. Um, and... Pilgrims fucked up. Make the park in China so they can use children oh. for the hobbits. <laughs> they would, do. yeah. They would do that. Um, they wouldn't look right, though. There's, yeah, there's no Asian hobbits. Sorry. But, yeah, um... so I'm sitting there waiting to get this damn email, and they've got me watching someone do the job that I used to do while I, uh, while I wait for it. And I was just sitting there going, guys, I'm sitting here, I know exactly what, can I just, can I just go home and do this shit? I mean, come on. Why do you want me here? So, I guess just if, stand there and look pretty. I guess that they want. Gets, uh, I guess that they want to see. I I guess that they want to see that you're like putting the effort in to show up. Well, I don't know. Uh, if if everything gets to where I want it, uh, fried by hopefully by tomorrow when I'm done. I think I'm gonna try to push off everything else onto remote and just be like, look, you know I know how to do this. I've already done I've already showed that I haven't forgotten anything. Let me go home and do it. You don't yeah. need to be in the office. I don't have questions. Yeah, I feel you. Well actually I just wanted to Damia's point. Yeah, that's a hundred percent true. That's just a random idea I had, but like maybe they give you a quest or something where you get the ring. You know, something interactive you can for put you can put suicide nets up so that you can't throw anything <laughs> over buildings. <laughs> yeah. People, people probably would do that, but I think if you're going to a Lord of the Rings park, you're probably... Most people are going to be a fan of it. White face. That's funny. Shit, I got like five minutes. I also feel, though, too, something to like Damio's point. Roland did say that it wouldn't be just like one ring. That like you know people would have to pay for like you know tears. Um, I don't I don't know how much Rolo has forgot about this, but it is quite literally one ring. I mean, no, come on, I, guys. I it's in the name. That, but to make it more interactive for a family. Yeah, imagine imagine forgetting like the whole point of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> okay, no, I get he's that. So but, stuck on Star I mean, Wars that he's forgotten the true. Story I just of use it as an example because when I went to the Harry Potter exhibit, they gave well, you a I'm bracelet with you. that your Holy bracelet scan things and would get points for your house. You know what I'm Dude, saying? I thought someone just backed into me. Something similar to that. Someone just backed into you? I thought they did. Something just my car moved and uh, I heard a bunch of metal scraping. But it was a friggin' forklift driving by me. Well, there you go. Bro, that would have been bad. Yeah, I, I'm not saying that it would be that way and it wouldn't work right. But, like, there needs to be something interactive for people. And, like, the ring would have to be it. So maybe almost like Junior Ranger program when you go to a national park, you get a quest. Like, when you go to a national park and you do the Junior Ranger, you get, like... A little booklet, and if you fill out everything, you get a badge at the end of the trip, whether it's a day or a couple of days. Right there, Caleb. What the fuck? Did they yeah, back they... into you? What? Said, so, did they back into you? No, no. Imagine turning a corner and a ring wraith jumps out at you. Okay, the, uh, all right. Make that a Halloween thing. Okay, make it make it once a year. So Middle Earth, yes. Middle Earth during Halloween, that yeah. Would be perfect. When you get in, like, there's all these people that are hunting 
you down for the ring. Like, that would That's be sick. Make it a Halloween thing for like a month and a half. That'd be cool. Like, you, you could do it so well. I think Universal would okay, actually. You don't do want to do the thing. ring, then make it the Arkenstone or something. Like, who? Who? The Arkenstone? No. What was, what was Roman about to say? Who do you think would do something well? Universal. Uh, what? Universal did Harry Potter pretty good. Universal does not have the rights to make a theme park for Lord of the Rings. You missed it. Universal's thinking about buying WB. Oh, uh, uh, guys, this is the. Okay, uh, you're talking about that. Okay, yeah, this is the highest bullshit I've heard since Apple is going to buy Disney. No, I agree with you, but I'm saying if they did, you could make a great theme park out of Lord of the Rings. Okay, so that's what we're talking about, Lord of the Rings. That's why I'm talking about Lord of the Rings because if they did buy, like I, I said the same thing. I said I highly doubt it's going to happen, but if they do do it, a Lord of the Rings theme park. That's why we're talking about this because a Lord of the Rings theme park would be pretty fucking awesome. That'd be cool. Like I don't know why one doesn't exist already. I, I really don't because Warner does not have a theme park. Yeah, I know that, but I'm saying they can at least make a Lord of the Rings one. They don't care about us. <laughs> that would make them more them. money than any of their fucking movies are. I gotta go now, guys. Thank you for coming on for a, a little bit, man. Yeah. Got to get Everyone, uh, make sure you hop over to Gatekeeper's Daimyo this afternoon. Nope. I'll and see you later tonight. Watch us discuss uh, Genghis Khan. Ooh, yes, that's remember, I will be there. We've been talking about Genghis Khan, Caleb and I, Damio and Dog. So, well, how are you? Were you invited? What do you mean? Am I invited? I started the first episode with Damio. Yeah. I, I mean, the history ones are supposed to be just Damio and me. Well, he told me I was going it. So, all right, that's cool. It's fine. I just I didn't know if you were. Uh, if you were invited to this one. I think Dog's going to be on it, too. I don't know. But well, I was well, planning on it. I'm sure Daimyo can tell us in the chat. Yes, sir. Sorry to make things awkward. Right, he said, you asshole, Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to make things awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye, brother. Fucking... Son of a bitch. Matuine's out too, so Matuine, if you are still here. Yeah, exactly, Daimyo. It's all of us. <laughs>